الحمد لله الحمد لله وكفى والصلاة والسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى الحمد لله حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه الحمد لله الذي خلق فسوى والذي قدر فهدى والذي أخرج المرعى الحمد لله الذي أستعينه وأستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلله فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن سيدنا ومولانا محمد عبده ورسوله اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد في أول كلامنا اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد في أوسة كلامنا اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد في آخر كلامنا أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا استعينوا بالصبر والصلاة إن الله مع الصابرين ولا تقولوا لمن يقتل في سبيل الله أموات بل أحياء ولكن لا تشعرون ولنبلونكم بشيء من الخوف والجوع ونقص من الأموال والأنفس والثمرات وبشر الصابرين الذين إذا أصابتهم مصيبة قالوا إنا لله وإنا إليه راجعون صدق الله العظيم وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم بلغوا عني ولو آية أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم My respected brothers and elders whatever corruption whatever deception whatever chaos we look into this world today the reason to it are our own actions you know in english there is a saying actions speak louder than words this is what quran says dahar al fasad fi al barr wa al bahr bima kasabat aydi an nas whatever fasad you see whatever chaos you see whatever things that are not appropriate fasad corruption fil barri wal bahar on the land and on the ocean anywhere bima kasabat aydin nas the people have earned this by their own actions the people have earned this by their own actions in one hadith of nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam a'malukum ummalukum whatever actions we do allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then send leaders like them like our actions if the actions of the ummah are good there will be good leaders there will be good people who will govern us there will be good administration but if our actions are corrupted if our heart is polluted if our if our heart has the love for dunya have the love for dollars before coming for khutba i came from atlanta georgia before coming for khutba i was on the phone with someone i was saying today we are worshiping dollars we are worshiping money wa tuhibbun al mal hubban jamma the love of this world is penetrated has went into the roots of our heart alladhi jama'a malan wa addada a person is counting money is gathering money and wa addada and what is he doing he's counting mashallah a million mashallah 100000 200000 400000 yahsabu anna malahu akhlada he is thinking that this money will remain with him forever he will live here forever you know when i was studying calculus in college there is a concept in mathematics called infinity you you multiply anything with infinity the 
answer is infinity. You add anything to infinity, the answer, if you, anything you do with infinity, it's infinity, it's infinite. Not this world, not this life. بَلْ تُؤْثِرُونَ الْحَيَاةَ الدُّنْيَا You give preference to this worldly life. You give preference to this worldly life. وَالْآخِرَةُ خَيْرٌ وَأَبْقَى But the life hereafter is better and it's forever. It's forever. One time I was reading Salah in my masjid and I was reading Surah Bayyina. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا The people who believe. وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ they have done righteous deeds. لَهُمْ جَنَّاتٌ تَجْرِي For them there will be paradise. تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَارِ Rivers will be flowing underneath them. خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا They will live there forever. And then I read رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُ وَرَضُوا عَنْهُ I missed one word in the Quran. What is that? أَبَدَ أَبَدَ Infinite life. أَبَدًا أَبَدَ أَبَدًا أَبَدَ you will live there in Akhirah forever, 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 forever. I can keep saying forever for 10 times, 1 million times. One time I will end, but that life will not end, my brothers and elders. An infinite life is coming up. Are we prepared? Are we prepared? I was in Manchester in UK, and they had a big warning for Corona. I was in 2020, so it was peak Corona time. So they had so many, so many regulations in Great Britain, in the UK. So I was reading it. So, you know, when at the end it was, it, one word was there. When you travel, you have to be prepared. When you're traveling to a country in, in this in pandemic, you need to be prepared. My brothers and elders, we are going in cover tonight. I will be alone. My wife will not come with me. My daughters and my son will not come with me. My father and my mother will not come with me. I will be alone in the darkness. Am I prepared for this journey? This is a question to myself, to all of us. Are we prepared to leave? If Malakul Maud comes today and says, let's go brother, your time is up. I have to take away your soul. I say, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. To prepare. Can you give me some time? Can you give me some few extra minutes? Some extra hours? Give me a day or two. Lam yalbathu illa ashiyatan aw duhaha. That a person will be resurrected on the day of judgment. He will be asked, How much were you there in Tulsa? How much were you there in Oklahoma? How much were you there in Atlanta? And what he will reply? Allah was there for one morning or one evening. That's about it. The 60, 70 years we are here. It's temporary. It will end. And the life hereafter will never end. An infinite life is coming up. You know, before a movie, there's a trailer. Before food, there's appetizer. Right? This life is a trial. It's a deception. Remember, Indeed, the life of this world, it is nothing, but it's a game and a play. It's a game and play. You know, many youngsters are sitting here, they play games, right? What happens in the game? You try one time, and they say, game end. Then you try again. Then you try again. It's a drama. I'm not saying this. The Quran is saying, You know, young children, toddlers, kindergartens, these people, they play with toys. And you know, I have a young daughter, she's five, and she also plays, and she says, I'm pretending. She's my pretend baby, right? Listen, we're pretending. It's not real, it's pretend. My brothers and elders, this life is a play, it's a game. Wazinatun, it's external attraction. You're attracted to it. I was in California four, three, four years ago, and one doctor saw one box and he bought a Tesla. He said, Hafiz, you need to sit in my Tesla. It's 80,000 bucks. Okay, I sat in it. He said, look, I'm not driving. My hands are off though. I'm not driving. It's all computerized. I'm like, wow. SubhanAllah. Right? My brothers and elders, 
We have we do not know what we will get in the life hereafter. Quran is saying, Fala ta'ala munafsum ma ufialahum min kurati ayun. Do you even know that the people who will please Allah, the people who will be the true slaves of Allah, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prepared for them in the life hereafter? Do you know? The hadith says of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, no eyes have seen the blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give to this individual. No, no ears have heard about them. No, none, no, no one can explain it. My brothers and sisters, Quran is telling us and giving us an overview. I was reading a book before coming here on the plane from Atlanta. So before you read the actual book, there's an overview, there's a preface. There's a preface to a book, right? Quran is saying, al haqqa What is reality? mal haqqa Do you know what is reality? wa ma adraka mal haqqa You know this wa ma adraka in the Quran is shaking, is shaking us up. And when a person is drowsy, is about to sleep, and you say, brother, wake up! Wake up! Right? Quran is saying, وَمَا أَدَرَاكَ مَا سَقَرْ وَمَا أَدَرَاكَ مَا يَوْمُ الدِّينِ وَمَا أَدَرَاكَ مَا الْخُطَمَ وَمَا أَدَرَاكَ مَا الْقَارِعَ وَمَا أَدَرَاكَ مَا الْحَاقَ Do you know? Are you guys sleeping? Can you guys wake up? You know what happened? مَا الْحَاقَ What is reality? What is reality? And I'm thinking the life I'm living here in Tal in Tulsa, this is reality. No. Now Allah is not telling us what is reality. He's talking about the preface. Allah is talking about all the previous nations. And then Allah, is, Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is asking a question. Do you see any one of them remain today? Do you see any remain? Do you have any remains? Baqiya, is anyone baqi? Is anyone remain? Is, is anyone living here forever? Aad, Thamud, Fir'aun. Wajaa Fir'aun, wal muqtafikatu bil khatia, fa'asaw rasul rabbihim, fa'akhadahum akhadatar rabiya, inna lamma qadalna uhamalnakum fil jariya, li naj'alaha lakum tadkiratan wa ta'iyaha udhunu wa'iya. All of the ayats which are beside it is preface. It's not the actual book. This preface, the previous nation, what happened to them? What happened to them? What did, they, what did they do? How was their morning and evening? How they disobeyed the Prophet? We grabbed them. That punishment was a severe punishment. Then, Allah, what happened? What is reality, Allah? My brothers and elders, I have been traveling since four years. Alhamdulillah, I've traveled to more than 45 states in the U.S. I've been to Alaska, Hawaii, Honolulu, different states. Just for giving this reminder. This is for myself. This is my appetite. This is my food for soul. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, فَإِذَا نُفِقَ فِي السُّورِ Then Israfil alayhi salam will blow the trumpet, will blow the horn. Nafkatu wahida. It will happen the first time. Then you know what will happen? Fayoma idiu waqaatil waqia. Then the rea then the reality will occur, the real reality. Allah, what will happen? Wan shakati sama. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will break the skies, the heavens into pieces. And the angels will come down from the heavens. Eight angels. Eight angels will be holding the arsh of Allah and will be brought from the heavens. 
وجاء ربك والملك صفا صفا like today we are we are sitting in rows in صف the angels the human beings the jinnat each and every creation will be in صف and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be the judge وَأُزْرِفَتُ الْجَنَّةُ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ Allah will bring Jannah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring Jahannam. وَوَضْعَ الْمَوَاضِينَ الْقِسْطَ لِيَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ Allah will bring the wings here today. And Allah will check that you have done this for Allah or you were showing off. What was in your heart? Praise? What was in your heart? The people will call you generous? What was in your heart? People will call you a big sheikh? What was in your heart? I want to see what's in your heart. You do, do things for the sake of people or you do things for the sake of Allah. إِنَّمَا نُتْعِمُكُمْ لِوَجْهِ اللَّهِ Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Hazrat Fatima radiallahu ta'ala anha. They're feeding the miskeen, yateem, and a prisoner. Why? Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is witnessing for them. إِنَّمَا نُطْعِمُكُمْ They are feeding them. Who? A prisoner. A yateem, an orphan, a miskeen, a beggar, a poor guy. Why? إِنَّمَا نُطْعِمُكُمْ لِوَجْهِ اللَّهِ Because they want the pleasure of Allah. They don't want anything. They don't want dollars. They don't want your money. They don't want self-praise. They don't want the praise of yours. What they want? لِوَجْهِ اللَّهِ they want the pleasure of Allah. La nuri do minkum jaza'am wa la shukura. They do not have any, 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 any compensation from any creation, but they are hoping to get the reward from the unseen creator that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, my brothers and elders, fa amma man utiya kitabahu bi yameeni. The person who will get the book in his right hand, he will scream, Fayaqul, he will say, Haum. He will make a noise. You know, I was in Pakistan in 2010, and I had interview for American, for US, United States. And one girl, I still remember, that's 12 years ago, one girl, she got the visa in Islamabad. And she was so happy, I cannot tell you. She was she had the she had the paper and she's like, oh, I got it! I got it! I'm like, I don't know what happened. She got a ticket to Jannah or what? She got only a visit visa, right? To the US. And she was so happy. I cannot express how joyful she was. How happy she was. Right? So Quran is saying the same thing. The person who gets the book in his right hand, he will also make an expression out of joy. He will say, ah, ah, um. well, He will be very joyful. People will come to him. Say, what's, what's wrong? Why are you screaming? Why are you making noises? He say, kitabiya. He will reply, read my book. I passed my exam. I passed my exam. This is not the exam of cybersecurity. It's not the exam of finance or accounting or Oklahoma City University College. No. It's not SAT. It's not SAT. No. What is it, Ya Allah? It is the exam of your whole life. Read my book. Read my book. Read my book. Read my book. You know, the people will ask him, brother, you used to live in Oklahoma. You used to live in Tulsa. You used to live in Georgia. How did you pass? You had a cheat sheet or something? How did you pass? Right? You know what he will reply? He will say, Inni wanantu anni mulaqin hisabiya. Brother, I was preparing. I knew this life is a deception. I knew I'm not going to live here forever. I knew this life will end one day. I knew I am in here in a transit. I was coming back from Pakistan recently and I had a transit in, in Turkey, in Istanbul for a few hours, five hours, brother. I had to catch a plane to Atlanta. My brothers and elders, we live here in transit. Nothing is my, you know, the, the, per, the biggest deception today, people who are immigrants like me, the biggest deception they have, that when they get the permanent resident card, 
the green card, it says permanent resident. What does that mean? You will live here forever, permanently. No, my brothers and others. Whether you have green card, or whether you have US passport, or whether you have Pakistani or Indian or Jordanian passport. Brother, we all have to leave. We all are in transit. We all are in transit. You will say, Inni wanantu anni mulaqin hisabiya. Indeed, I was preparing. I knew someone is watching me. I was in New York at JFK, and they have, you know, cameras. All the time, wherever you go, there's cameras. Brother, the camera is watching you. The camera is there. Brother, Allah is also watching you. Alam ya alam bi anna Allah yara. Oh, human being, did you forget? Your Allah is watching you 24-7. You are alone in the house. Your wife is gone. Children are gone. No one is there. You have a gadget. You have some kind of an Android tablet or an iPad or a screen 55 inches. And you think no one is there. What are you thinking? No one is there. I can do whatever, I can see whatever I want. No, oh, my brothers and elders, it's a deception. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is closer than our jocular vein. وَنَحْنُ أَقْرَبُ إِلَيْهِ مِنْ حَبْلِ الْوَرِيدِ I'm closer to you than your jocular vein. Now the person gets the book in his right hand. People ask him, brother, how did you pass? He said, I was preparing. How? What were you doing? Inni wanantu anni mulaqin hisabiya. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will order for him. Fahuwa fi aishate radiya. Oh my servant, to enjoy your life. I'm pleased with you now. You know, in Urdu we say, Aish karu, Aish. Aishate radiya. Enjoy. I'm pleased with you. You say, Allah, enjoy here in Tulsa. I have to give insurance. We have mortgages, we have school fees, we have so many things, Ya Allah. Enjoy here? Say, no, no, no. Fi jannatin aliya. I have made a huge, a huge jannah for you. <coughs> Brothers and elders, let's aim for this jannah. And may Allah give us tawfiq to prepare for the life hereafter. Prepare for our death and prepare before it's too late. And make sincere tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That may Allah give us the true understanding of deen. May Allah give us tawfiq to implement this in our life. To convey to the whole of humanity. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Nashhadu wa la ilaha illa anta. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun. Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.